If you're going to understand a little bit about Christianity, you have to understand what forgiveness is. Now, it's not an altogether foreign concept to our world. Even if you're not a Christian, you likely know a little bit about forgiveness. But I'll contend that you don't truly know what forgiveness is until you know the forgiveness that comes from God. So to talk about that today, we're going to use the story that Jesus uses. There were these uh, two men. One was a king and the other was a, a servant, was one of his subjects. And this subject uh, owed the king a lot of money, what was equiv equivalent to a million dollars or more at this point. And the man had no way of paying this money back. And so, as was custom in that time, uh, this man and his family were going to be sold into slavery until they could repay the debt that they owed the master, which pretty much meant that, that him and his family would be slaves for life. They were never going to be able to pay back this debt. But the, the man begs and begs and begs of the king to have mercy on him, and the king does. He has mercy on this man and he cancels the debt completely. Now, if you're putting yourself in the shoes of the king, there were a lot more options than just canceling the debt, right? He could have reduced the debt to something that was a little bit more manageable. He could have worked out some sort of payment plan where it didn't mean slavery, but it maybe meant something something else. He could have done a whole lot of things, but instead he just canceled the debt. And Jesus will later say that that's what God has done for you. He has canceled the debt that your sins have accumulated. You have accumulated this debt through the, the sins that you've committed. And God, because he has forgiven you, has canceled it. Now at first you might say, isn't that just too easy? But what about those people that really commit the really serious sins and, and God just cancels them? He just lets them off the hook? He just lets me off the hook. But in scripture, we, we see that that's not exactly the case. And it's not because God is going to hold the sin over our heads still in some way. It's because God sent someone to be punished for us. God is not merely overlooking sins. He's just taking all of the sins that you have committed, that, that everyone else has committed, and he's putting them on Jesus' shoulders and putting him to death for those sins. He is punishing Jesus for your sins, for my sins, for the sins of the world. Jesus took that punishment. He made that sacrifice for us so that God would remain just and we would be forgiven. God's justice was fulfilled through Jesus and God's love was shown in the greatest way through Jesus. Romans 5 verse 8 says, God demonstrate his, demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That was something that was totally unmerited. We didn't deserve that at all. Just like the servant didn't deserve the king canceling this major debt at all. We didn't deserve Jesus dying on the cross for us, but he did. And he put to death our sins and he buried them in the tomb never to be brought up again. And because of that sacrifice, it means that you have been forgiven, washed clean, sins taken away, absolved. There's a hundred different pictures of what this means for you. And what it means for your relationship with God is that God remembers your sins no more. You are no longer in the chains and bondage of your sin, but you have been set free. Imagine how that servant felt after the king canceled his his debt. He, he was free. He, he, he no longer had to pay this debt. There was nothing holding on to him anymore. But, but he was set free because this debt had been forgiven. That's the freedom that God has given you in forgiveness. Now, if you know the end of the parable, you know that that parable turns out a little bit differently. That, that servant didn't fully appreciate the forgiveness that he was given. And in turn, he didn't give it to someone else. But that's not what Jesus' forgiveness does for us. Jesus' forgiveness uh, brings so much thankfulness into our hearts that we so graciously forgive others. 
we know how much we have been forgiven in Christ. We know the lengths to which Christ went to forgive us. And so forgiving other people becomes easy by comparison. And we try to model our, our forgiveness after our Savior's. When he says that, that he remembers our sins no more. That, that we make this decision, just like God make a deci- made a decision to forgive us our sins, we decide to forgive others. We'll, we'll spend an entire life trying to, to understand and fully grasp the forgiveness that, that Christ has given us. And we will spend our lifetime practicing giving that forgiveness to others in, in the same way. But we are altogether thankful for the gift of freedom that God has given us in, in forgiveness. And we seek to know what that forgiveness is more and more every day. God bless you as you continue to grow in that forgiveness, dear brothers and sisters.